A Muslim man in India has been arrested and charged with love jihad. You commit the crime of love jihad when you try to convince a non-Muslim woman to fall in love with you in order to get her to convert to Islam, marry you, and produce Muslim babies. That's the accusation against Muslims in certain areas of India, but YouTube calls it a conspiracy theory. Let's read a bit about the current case, then I'll share my thoughts, and I'll invite you to share your thoughts. CNN reports. Police in northern India have arrested a Muslim man for allegedly trying to convert a Hindu woman to Islam under a controversial new law that has sparked widespread outrage and protests. The 21-year-old student was arrested on Wednesday in Uttar Pradesh only days after the state enacted the law targeting love jihad, a term used by radical Hindu groups who accuse Muslim men of attempting to convert women of other faiths to Islam. Uttar Pradesh enacted the anti-conversion law, which makes forced or fraudulent religious conversions a non-bailable offense with a maximum punishment of 10 years in prison on Saturday. According to the law, a marriage will be declared null and void if the conversion of the woman is solely for that purpose. Those wishing to change their religion after marriage need to apply to top district authorities. So, it sounds like if a Hindu woman converts to Islam just because she wants to marry a Muslim man, the marriage will be annulled and the man will be arrested. If a Hindu woman wants to convert to Islam after she's married, she'll have to submit an application to authorities. You can see why people might object to these laws. The same day the law came into effect, a man named Tikaram Rator, CNN says Raton, that's a typo, filed a report to police alleging the male student was trying to coerce his 20-year-old Hindu daughter, who is married, to convert to Islam and marry him. Now, if this is correct, the Muslim student is doing something pretty bad here. He's trying to coerce a girl to convert to Islam, in which case she'll have to immediately divorce her Hindu husband because a Muslim woman isn't allowed to be married to a non-Muslim man. And obviously the student wants the girl to then marry him. So there are two basic questions. One, is that what this Muslim student did? And two, should he go to jail for it? CNN is typically garbage when it comes to details, so let me know in the comments if there's more to this story. Rathor, see, they got the name right here, alleged the man had developed a friendship with his daughter at school and wanted to coerce, coax, and allure her into converting. Despite constant disapproval from me and my family, he, the accused, is putting pressure on us through abuse and death threats, Rator said in his complaint. Police in Uttar Pradesh's Bareilly district confirmed via Facebook that the man was arrested on Wednesday. Critics have called the law Islamophobic, unconstitutional, and regressive. Many are concerned it will lead to misuse and harassment, and that the law will make it increasingly difficult for interfaith couples to marry in the country. Other states, including Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Karnataka, and Assam, have announced plans to follow Uttar Pradesh and introduce similar laws. All five states are governed by the ruling Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, which has faced accusations of perpetuating anti-Muslim sentiment. So, love jihad is already a crime in one state in India, Four more are about to enact similar laws. The BJP, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has come under fire for similar laws before. Last year, the BJP-ruled state of Himachal Pradesh amended its anti-conversion law, prohibiting conversion by misrepresentation, force, fraud, undue influence, coercion, allurement, or marriage. It also introduced non-bailable jail sentences for the offense. Critics of the BJP say religious polarization has increased since Modi swept into power in 2014. Hindu-Muslim marriages have long attracted controversy in India, but tensions have ratcheted up lately with the concept of love jihad dominating headlines in recent months. 
All right, I have mixed feelings about laws like this. On the one hand, I understand the perspective of many Hindus. The perspective of many Hindus is that these young Muslim men are basically kidnapping Hindu girls, but without actually kidnapping them. They're manipulating the girls into falling in love, marrying them, and then separating the girls from their families. That is not something most people would want to put up with. On the other hand, I just don't trust governments and lawmakers to handle situations like this and to make decisions about whether a girl is converting to Islam because she's been duped into falling in love or whether she's converting because she's become convinced that Islam is true. If a Hindu girl really falls in love with a Muslim man and she investigates Islam and she somehow concludes that Muhammad was a prophet, and she converts and marries the Muslim man, is this really a situation for the government to step in and start throwing people in jail? My other concern would be that it's very easy to abuse laws like this. If your Hindu daughter has a crush on a Muslim student from class and you don't like it, it would be pretty easy for you to run to the police and say, that Muslim student is doing love jihad on my daughter. And if you've got a police force that wants to crack down on Muslims, again, it's very easy to abuse laws like this. So the concern here is not only whether the law itself is just, but whether it's going to be enforced fairly. Now, just to be clear, forced conversions, harassment, threats, intimidation, those are clearly areas where police should get involved. But falling in love with someone of a different religion this may just be me, but I really don't trust police or government officials with those kinds of decisions. But I'm an American, so this issue isn't as emotionally charged as it is in other parts of the world. So I'd be interested in hearing what you think, especially you Hindus, whether you're for these laws or against them. Let me know if I'm missing anything here. Also, if you have any stories that will shed light on this issue, please share them in the comments section. You Muslims as well. If you're a Muslim, let me know what you think about these love jihad laws. And after you share your view on these laws in India, please tell us what you think about laws in Muslim countries that prohibit efforts to convert Muslims to another religion. Also, tell us what you think about the death penalty for apostasy in Islam. Does it make sense for you to oppose love jihad laws in India while your prophet called for the beheading of anyone who leaves Islam? Be sure to comment.